Hi guys, higher maths, the straight line exercise 13c, question 5. Make a sketch showing the points C, D, and E. There's my sketch. Show that C, D, E is a right angled triangle. So, we're trying to show that this triangle is right angled. So, which exercise are we doing? We are doing the exercise titled perpendicular lines. So, perpendicular means at right angles too. So as we have the sketch, having a look which angle looks most likely to be right angled. This angle looks most likely. So if I can calculate the gradient of CE and the calculate and I can calculate the gradient of DE and show they are perpendicular, then I will have shown that the triangle is right angled at corner E. Uh, another way of doing this would be to find the length of this line, find the length of this line and find the length of this line, and then use the converse of Pythagoras' theorem. So if you've done it that way, that is 100% okay. But as it is in the perpendicular lines section, I'm assuming they want me to use that. But again, if you've used the converse of Pythagoras, that is 100% fine. It does not specify in the question which method to use, so you can use any valid mathematical method. So let's find the gradient of CE. So just y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and the gradient of CE is negative 3 quarters. So the fact it's negative looks good because it is clearly negative on my diagram. Gradient of DE is 4 thirds. Again, positive gradient, so that's good. And then I've got the two gradients. If the lines are perpendicular, then the product of those two gradients will be negative 1. So let's multiply them together. So either cancelling or just numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Negative 12 over 12 is indeed negative 1. So as it's a show that question, I should be giving a statement at the end. So MCE times MDE equals negative 1. Therefore, CE is perpendicular to DE and triangle CDE is right angled at E.